Hello everybody, I'm Mike Robinson. This is my daily video. Um, I'd just like to do today something a little bit different because I've cooked a lot of venison recently and I thought I'm going to cook some fish. Now I love fish and seafood. Um, a lot of us who, who hunt and fish and exist from wild food and produce, in fact what we do farming the wild, um, we often have a lot of fish in our freezers and I think it's nice occasionally to cook some. So I am going to cook a really simple outdoor fish dish, but that it's really beautiful, quick, clean, very few tools and great. So let's have a look. I've got some beautiful prawns, which are completely raw. I've got scray cod. This is this fantastic Icelandic cod. And then I've got some wild sockeye salmon here. Those are my basic ingredients. So how am I gonna cook it? I'm gonna use an old French technique, which is cooking en papillot, or in paper, like in, a, in an envelope. So I'm gonna start off by taking one of these beautiful lemons, and I'm just gonna run a knife through them, and I'm gonna slice a lemon up. And I'm just gonna take some nice thin slices of these beautiful, these are Amalfi lemons. These are these lovely Southern Italian lemons. And smell I... amazing. <laughs> smell different. God. Smell-o-vision. Yeah, they're amazing. They are the definition of lemon. They're really good. Now, if you find them in supermarkets occasionally, I'm going to throw them onto that baking parchment. And they're going to act as a, as a sort of savoury base plate for my fish. And I'm going to start here with the cod. I'm going to notice the skin's still on, but it's been scaled. So I'm going to put the cod on those. I'm going to put the salmon over here on a couple there. Lovely. And then I'm going to start to put my prawns sprinkled around the middle. And this is a great, great sharing dish, a great party dish. You don't have to have an oven. I'm going to use my lovely little uni wood fired oven. You can just wrap these up and put them on a barbecue or one with a hinge lid. Work a treat. So I'm going to really squeeze these with beautiful lemon juice. Yum. I'm going to add a little bit of my scotch bonnet chili over the prawns but I won't put it over the fish and that's the joy of this we can just separate things a little bit a bit of spice on the prawns I missed one that would be criminal look at that that one snuck in that's mine <laughs> and take some of this parsley and I'm just gonna rip it up and just sprinkle it around pretty as a picture seasoning let's give it loads of pepper like so. Okay, now to help it cook, I'm going to put some butter in there. A little bit of my beautiful olive oil. And finally, I've got some of my beautiful rosé. <laughs> I'm going to add a little bit of rosé. Now that's our cooking liquid and helps to give us a bit of a sauce at the end, although we're going to improve on that. I'm going to bring my baking parchment in and just scrunch it up. And then I'm going to bring my tin foil into the middle and roll it up. I'm going to bring the ends of the tin foil in like a little bathtub. And I'm going to really try and make a bit of a, a seal there. Huh? I don't mind a little bit of steam escaping, but as little as possible, please. And you'll notice that underneath, I've put a double layer of foil just to protect it a little. And that, my friends, is our fish. And I'm gonna bung that in my lovely oven here, which is, as usual, nice and hot. And it's only gonna take seven or eight minutes to cook. As I say, if you've got a a big barbecue, which most people do, put some layers of foil on the bars to protect it, sit it on there, close the lid, and you've got an oven. Easy peasy. Now I'm making an all-purpose sauce to go with the fish, but also with um, some beautiful Jersey Royal potatoes that I've cooked. These are these marvellous little potatoes from the island of Jersey and the Channel Islands, and they grow on steep, steep soils like this, and they, they just have this incredible flavour, and they're quite early potatoes. And I'm going to make a beautiful sort of lemony, buttery, olive oily, herby emulsion to pour over the fish, as well as the sauce that'll be in the base of the thing, which is all just going to be really tasty. So I'm going to have 
I like fish works incredibly well with basil. Always parsley, just love flat leaf parsley. Sometimes called Italian parsley. It's just delicious herb. And I'm gonna run my lovely knife through this. A lot of people ask what knives I use. Um, professionally in the restaurants and generally at home, I love these knives. This is a company called Flint and Flame Rhineland Cutlery and they make these really ergonomic chef's knives. And all of us at the restaurants use them. They're excellent, mid-priced, really good quality. And then occasionally I make my own knives as well. Alrighty, so I've got some butter sizzling away, or not sizzling yet, but melting away in my pan. I love copper pans, I use them all the time. They, they conduct heat really, really well. They're really resilient, they're beautiful. I'm gonna let that do. I'm gonna take some lemon, I'm gonna squeeze loads of lemon juice in this. There's no great science, but my goodness, will this taste amazing. Oh, that sort of lemony butter sauce. Okay, and I'm also going to add into this some beautiful olive oil, like that. Tiny splash of our rosé. And we're just going to let that come up to heat and then I'm going to whisk it until I get a sort of beautiful emulsion and it's going to taste just divine on this fish, which I reckon is only going to take another five minutes. So what I'm going to do is just add in some shallot and let that soften for two or three minutes in there. I'm going to add my herbs once that shallot suffered. Okay, in go those lovely herbs, the parsley and the basil. It requires just a squidge more, to, a squidge more lemon juice. Whoops. So six or seven minutes in the oven, the fish is cooked. The way you can tell is if you feel the top of the, the foil and it's red hot, it means you've created a mini oven in there and it's great. So let's have a look, the big reveal. There you go. Oh, come on, look at that. There's only two of us. <laughs> <laughs> that is what I was after. And it, my goodness, it smells amazing. Um, so let's just get serving. So I'm going to put some of my beautiful sauce over these potatoes, these Jersey Royals. The, the glorious, glorious thing about cooking like this is that it's great for parties. And I'm going to put that incredible scray cod, that sustainable cod on there. Some of these prawns, which just look nuts and stunning. Uh, have to use my fingers, I'm sorry. I'm going to take some of this beautiful wild Alaskan salmon, which I love as an ingredient. And then oh, let's have some of this juice, because look at that juice. You can see the oil and the fish and the lemon. I'm just going to spoon that over the top. And then I'm going to take a little bit of our lovely concoction and do the same. And then a few of these stunning Jersey Royal spuds. And that is the easiest fish dish you can cook. And it's sensational. I mean, it's, it's pretty, it's healthy. It hasn't used a lot of stuff and you can do it outdoors. To finish off though, I thought we'd have a cheeky gin and tonic, but not any gin and tonic. This is a lovely gin called Elderwood. And uh, this is produced, I was involved in the making of this. Um, so I helped design the, the, the combination of botanicals and flavors in the gin. My friend James, this is available at, um, new generation wines on their website and also master of malt and they will in england they will send it out to you and i i know it's a plug but we love it we drink a lot of it elderwood amazing gin so i'm going to add some gin my secret mix this is rhubarb syrup so this is beautiful rhubarb from the garden that i poached in syrup and you get this delicate pink so this is a rhubarb g and t some light tonic water and I'm going to tuck in and my lovely wife Claude who films these who is an angel who always gets to eat second as a result I mean it's just here come on in go on mm. <laughs> it's okay so I'm gonna have a bit of the beautiful salmon mm, <laughs> oh my goodness a prawn just juicy pink. I'm just gonna eat one of these and then say goodbye. I'm very, very lucky to be able to cook outdoors like this. The weather's been stunning in Britain. 
Um, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for following. I hope these films cheer you up a little bit in confinement and I hope everybody who's watching stays safe and well. Thank you.